Victor Hugo, 23-year-old fighter from Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. 180 centimeters tall, this fight at 71 kilograms. He has a record of 43 fights, 30 wins, 12 losses, and one draw. Started training Muay Thai at age 11. His favorite fighters are almost unanimously from Phuket Fight Club, including fellow Brazilians Luis Cajaiba, Julio Lubo, Lobo, and Jose Neto. These are all guys who have fought here at Thai Fight. That's era. right, yeah. And he'll be taking on that man right there. Kitty saw Jaw Dan Rayong. 21 year old from Thailand, from Chanterbury Province in Thailand. 182 centimeters tall with a professional record of 90 fights. 79 victories, 11 losses with zero draws. He is the former 2019 Thai fight Kajia champion at 70 kilograms. Current record at Thai fight is 12 fights with 11 victories. Sorry, 12 fights, 12 victories, 11, 11 knockouts. There you go, 11 knockouts. Sounds about right. The only decision win was against uh, Mazzetti. That came at Thai Fight Phuket last January, in which he did win the card check tournament, the championship at 70 kilograms. Yeah, he is a card check killer for sure. Someone we weren't really expecting to take to the Thai fight ring like he has. He never really had stadium credentials. I know he was a monster on Max Muay Thai. But he's come to Thai fight and he's just transformed into an absolute killer. He's reckless, he's ruthless. But There's gotta be one more R word we can use in there. I was looking for it as well. But he's a wrecking ball. <laughs> <laughs> That's not an R, is it? Oh, never mind. Okay, folks, in the black corner from Thailand, Kitty saw Jaw Dan Rayong. Versus Victor Hugo from Brazil in the white corner. You did mention Nata Gomez, also from Phuket Fight Club. He actually fought Kitty last time out here at Thai Fight, losing by a KO. Due to three, the three knockdown rule, Kitty knocked him down three we must have times some kind in of a round. Deal. We must have some kind of, Thai Fight must have some kind of deal worked out with Phuket. Fight Club because we've pretty much seen their entire stable. They have here at some Thai fantastic fight. fighters. Yeah, Kajaiba fought Satan Fai in a very close decision. Lobo, I believe he beat uh, Victor Pinto and he also went the distance with Sachai. Beautiful jumping right elbow. Yeah, keep your eye on that swiping right elbow from Kitty. It's definitely his favorite technique. You go fighting back though. Kitty not having it all his own way. Looking for that right elbow. Oh, both fighters looking for the same technique at the same time. Yeah, I like that. I like what Hugo's doing here. Fighting by fight Yeah, fire. he's meeting him right in the middle with the same style of elbows. Short arm salute. Give me something, Kitty, something to think, think about right now. Oh, he oh. caught him. He caught him and he hurt him with a left hand uppercut. Someone's bleeding on him. I would not be surprised at all if it's Kitty. A real scrap right now. Victor Hugo looking to make a name for himself. He's taking these shots and he's moving forward. Oh, and again, almost to the back of the head that time. Kitty pushes opponent back and then off the ropes, connects with that elbow again. Nice there, look at that. Yeah, he was looking for it again. That was the same one he connected with earlier in the first round. You can see they've been doing that homework at Phuket Fight Club. Yeah, I think he came in really prepared. As prepared as you can be for the flurry that Kitty always throws out at the beginning of the first round. Hugo looking comfortable and looking calm. The body kick there from Kitty. But again, that beautiful left uppercut. Worrying times here for Kitty, Sojo Danrayon. 
Nice stuff in left hand. Connect to the right. Moving in for the kill. Kitty. Good knee. Oh, and an elbow connect. Elbow. And another one. And one hurt him. Now Hugo's in trouble. Down he goes. More from the pressure than from an individual strike. But we've seen this happen before. We've seen Kitty sort of battle through, break that shell. Once he cracks that shell. Let's see if Hugo can hang in there. Oh, goodness. That looked like a downward elbow to the top of the head. Yeah. Menacing from Kitty. It'd One be a more. shame if Hugo couldn't make it out of this round. He, I would like to see him do that, to Me be too. But Kitty, he has his claw sharpened right now, and he's looking for that third knockdown to finish the fight. Oh, another right elbow over the top there from Kitty. Hugo's oh, just... Oh, really? That's... Uh, a little bit unfortunate. I was going to say, perplexed looks on the cornerman, but not on the face of Victor Hugo. I'm disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, Aaron, I love Kitty knocking people out, but I, I want to see a fighter stand up to him, and I want to see him change. I want to see his adjustments in a fight where he can't just flatten the guy with his elbows and what he has to do technically to actually oh. win a fight. And unfortunately, we're just going to have to keep waiting to see that. Yeah, that was a beautifully timed jumping elbow there from Kitty. And the referee had seen enough. Just overwhelming his opponents. Non stop action. Kitty, once again, the victor against Victor here at Thai Fight Karai. ไปเข้าๆนะฮะลุยกันทั้งคู่นะฮะเต็มอิ่มนะฮะไม่ยอมกันเลยนะฮะแต่ว่าเราก็ได้พูดชนะแล้วนะครับ